What is up you guys? It is me, Ghost Gamer 216 and welcome back to another video. Tonight, we'll be right to the Snake Tier List by Tier Zoo. A lot of you have wanted another Tier List video and, well, it would so happen that Tier List uploaded another one. Go figure! Hey okay, guys, the Snake Tier List, um, damn, what do I think is going to be at the top before we begin? Um... I feel like the rattlesnake. Why do I got a feeling the rattlesnake is going to be put low? I hope rattlesnake's at least A or B. And then, gosh, I can't think of his name. Give me a second. Python. That's what I was thinking. King Cobra Python is definitely going to be S rank. <sighs> Hopefully, rattlesnake is A or B tier. So, without further ado, let us get on to this video. Bro, you do not scare that thing. Oh, oh, wow. Damn. Damn. Sit down. Ooh, he's got, ooh, he's got a fancy new intro. Nope. I, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who, who told me? So that's the five. Somebody told me to try this. Oh, look at that. After six years, I know how to go back by the seconds. It's beautiful. I actually have not known how to do this until now, so thank you. Um, I'm gonna put your name like right here. Thank you. You. It's taken somebody six years to tell me this. Hi. Quick note. It was really difficult to find clips of exactly the right species of snake in a lot of these cases. Okay, hold on. Okay, so basically, uh, it was difficult to find snake clips, and I don't blame him because really. Snakes. Snakes are one of the most feared classes in the game, with a number of powerful builds and Blake a Snake, we relate. lethal abilities. Bruh. However, some of these strategies have that? clearly been more successful than others. So in this video, which was sponsored by Damn. Curiosity Stream, we'll be going over the snake tier list. Ooh, so we got a lot. Rank highest. But we even have F tier. specific snake builds, let's do an overview of Ooh, the basic attributes and special abilities the snake faction has access to as well as a quick rundown of the history of the Snake Faction. Damn. Background in history, so here we go. Snakes are one of the newer factions in the game. Joining the game's roster during the latter part of the Mesozoic expansion, they began as a niche offshoot of the Lizard Faction that was specifically adapted okay. to burrowing gameplay. And in order to best min-max for the most burrow efficient games. burrowing, this That's player nice base gym. eventually opted to completely drop the legs attribute. This <sighs> ended up being a far more successful gambit than anyone could have anticipated, as it not only granted these lizards better burrowing ability, man, I'd, I'd hate to be underwater and just a snake system. just starts coming towards me. While man. the snake build first hit the scene oh, during the metagame dominated by this, dinosaurs, so. they didn't become a huge threat in the meta until after the main dinosaur powerhouses were banned in the KT balance patch. I love that he during says this that. chaotic post ban wave meta, snake players experimented with some crazy builds, including the giant Titano Boa build. But while Titano Boa's giant size there wasn't anything that big, success, right? Like I think the strategies that the snake player base uh, went on to that's just uh, some more effective. Making something look bigger, Fast right? Forward to today's meta, and snakes are There's one of the most successful that big, predator right? factions in the game, owing this success to right. a handful of powerful, <laughs> unique abilities. Ooh, ooh. The most obvious of these is slithering, the snake's unique mobility no. option that it gained in exchange snakes for using its Snakes would never slither. At first glance, this might seem extremely limiting as snakes Whoa. cannot jump and move Damn. more slowly than they would if they could run. And while those are significant limitations, I was the ability say you to slither just does open up a lot of other options to snake mains. Rather than jumping over barriers, snakes can oftentimes find a way to slither through them. This gives snakes access to a lot of areas of the map that are normally much Where? more difficult to access. And Where's means things like dens, nests, and other player-constructed bases are often less effective at keeping wow. snake players out which makes them one of the best classes oh, oh, Slithering also allows a comparatively damn. large build to remain Maybe very birds, close to no. the ground and benefit from the stealth bonus of even the shortest stealth grass bonus, and foliage. Mm. Despite not yeah. having claws, snakes make for highly effective climbers, making it very difficult to ever... Tr I'm sorry, I, I keep looking at the way like it's going up and all I think of is Mario Odyssey, that one Egyptian puzzle. I'm probably not going to be, find a be able to find a clip. Truly get out of reach of a snake. Still, as Just a rushdown option, slithering tends Damn. to be too slow to reliably catch up to other players. 
So while snakes may not have the ability to chase you down, they've spec their movement kit to ensure that nowhere is ever truly safe from them. And if you let your That's guard fair. down, they'll be poised to capitalize on that. Ooh. A snake's basic strike is a little on the weak side for such a dangerous predator. Their bites can't deal that much damage on their own and are easily blocked by armor. It's for this reason that snakes tend to spec into various venom effects to infuse their bites what with. What the hell Snake is venom that guy doing? a variety doing? of status effects, which we'll get into more as we progress through the tier list. Okay, but okay. in general, venom greatly increases the damage potential of oh, snake. Oh, damage over bite. time. Without this, many snakes Damn. would have no means no, we of all got that. and would be completely helpless when caught out in the open. Instead, snakes are one of the most feared classes in the game. But which snakes should be feared the most? Yes, that, that's, that's why we're here. We want to know. No, another ad. We'll never be able to figure it out. F tier, so here we go. The lower tiers on this list contain members of the snake faction known as Colibrids. This Colibrids. is the largest group of snakes and contains almost Damn. every snake build in the Damn. game. Damn! Except for the ones you're actually afraid of. 249, what the hell? Carter Snake. Starting at the very bottom of this group, we have the Garter Snake, one of the weakest snake builds in the game. Data miners are actually unsure whether or not this build is venomous, but if it is, it's some of the weakest venom in the game. <laughs> And with no other offensive abilities, the garter Bro, my man did, my man's like matchups uh, against things far smaller than it, like frogs and mice. Because they're so vulnerable, garter snake players love to attack aquatic targets like tadpoles and small fish. But wow. they have no actual abilities that synergize with this playstyle, nor is it a particularly good swimmer, and therefore it's a... takes on considerable risk when they venture into the water. Oh wow, so you get murdered by fish. Damn, you are bad. A ton of evolution points evolving extreme toxin resistance to the poison of a specific newt build. This isn't very efficient, but I guess the garter snake needs to preserve its few favorable matchups. A racer Next snake? In what? We have the racer snake. This is a snake build that put an above average number of evolution points into mobility, making it one of the fastest snake builds in the game. Oh hell no. That's not Hell really no. Lot, Hold on. I got to see this again. the snake builds in the game. That's not really oh, saying Oh gosh. Lot, all I can think of is just a snake chasing speed. me down now, but and I'm just like, mm, do. no. This does give them a much better chance of dashing into cover when under attack. Unfortunately, as with a lot of mobility-centric builds, Bro, this alone isn't enough is to make them competitively you? viable. Damn, that cat's got even it, with though. With their above-average slithering speed, they're usually still- Oh my gosh! Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, but I hate this idea. Imagine you're taking a lovely stroll on the beach, and all of a sudden- Hold on, hold on, right here, right here. Imagine this kick as you. You're running for this one snake. Lo look at these rocks in the background. Imagine you, you see this. What do you do? Even with their above average Look how many of them are just they're usually coming out of the rocks. To chase down many of their preferred Dude. attack targets. Holy they're crap. also worse climbers than most, making them Sheesh. one of the few snakes that can be countered by simply climbing out of reach. Did you just in almost all cases, the, the snake's worst matchup is Let's against birds, and, and unfortunately for the racer snake, speed usually isn't much use against what? a surprise area. How did attack. you? Their Damn. lack of practical That's applications for their signature Caught that snake lacking. them firmly in Damn. F tier for me. That's fair. The vine snake. I think I have Next actually heard of this. Next on the tier we have the vine snake. Now, there are many highly effective arboreal snake builds, and all things considered, the vine snake isn't terrible. It's got great stealth and is an excellent climber. That's horrible. But I mean, just look at this thing. With the lowest HP it's got pretty and defensive good balance stats of any snake, this build folds to absolutely any attack. Vine snakes entrust their survival to their above average stealth stat. But if that fails and the vine snake is discovered, they resort to intimidation. Their I would intimidation use, yeah, tactic consists you got intimidation. of sticking out their brightly colored tongue as a Wait, warning. Wait, what's this white? Much like with the blue tongued skink, I don't consider this to be a particularly effective defensive display. Especially when this warning is backed by some of the weakest venom in the game. <laughs> I'm sorry, hold on, hold on, hold on. I love this little, like... This warning is backed by some of the weakest venom in the snake faction. <laughs> I love that little, Definitely like... not F tier due to its decent camouflage, Man. but with nothing else going what for it, it's What was the second one? Wait, did we do the second one? Tiger Keelback. Next in D tier, we have the Tiger Keelback. Oh, no. This snake build breaks the mold when it comes to toxic strategies in snakes. Oh, no. As rather than dumping all of its evolution points into venom, the Keelback also allocates some of its resources into becoming poisonous, meaning that they can inflict the toxic status effect why are these nails so long? Into becoming poisonous, meaning that they Damn. can inflict the toxic status effect both when wow. dealing Ooh. damage and when taking damage. Oh, this extra defensive Intr ability so, so both in attack and defense. Ranking compared to most colibrid snakes. I like it. However, I like overall, it. Overall, it's still not that great. What do you both mean? Both their venom and their poison aren't all that potent, and it's possible oh, that going it's... all in on one of these strategies He's might gone. have been the better play in the long run. 
Still, the killback strategy yeah, does so mitigate one of the collar bird faction's main weaknesses, though, which is that they have a hard time using their venom defensively. What Many collar birds, oh. including the vine snake and killback, are venomous. This is useful because, I mean, how else would a snake barely thicker than a piece of spaghetti deal any damage, right? The problem is, yeah. collarbirds lack the efficient venom delivery abilities found in the more dangerous oh, snake bites. Their fangs are located it. at the back of their yeah. mouths. I don't know why I'm acting like I understand any of this. I have venom. no idea what half these snakes the venom are. Is just kind but they of look part cool. Of their saliva, so to deal any damage with it, they need to really chew on their target for a good chunk of time. As totally you might expect, realize it's this makes individual strikes from most venomous collarbirds quite harmless, as they don't contain oh, much that venom like per the hit, eye. and they also can't really use their fangs unless they get a really solid bite in. So the keelback's yeah, poison ow. does sort of cover for this weakness, which Still is great, hurts. and for that Still it gets to the top of D tier. However, a defensive poison is by no means the only way to mitigate the drawbacks of having we rare fangs, a lot of snakes, as we'll damn. see as we move out of the low tier and into mid tier. Let me see what's up. The boom At the bottom of C tier we have the boom slang, the most venomous- I'm sorry, how do you say that? The boom slang. At the bottom of C tier we have the boom slang, the, the most venomous snake build from the Colibrid faction. This snake kind of just does everything the vine snake does, but better. It's an How? excellent climber and has great camouflage, but well, also packs a devastating bite with extremely overpowered venom for its tier in terms of potency. Yikes. And while it does have rear fangs, they're significantly larger than most colibrids. But its best adaptation is Love that the snake music can open its mouth well. far wider than nice. most snakes, allowing it to deliver a venom-infused no, bite in spite not, of the not, unfavorable not, no. location of its fangs. This allows the Blem Slang to go toe to toe with high tier builds like the Chameleon. Go. I don't know what that is. As well as let it use its potent venom as a defensive threat not rather than solely just a hunting tool. Now, obviously, this is still yeah, why far don't they from use ideal. Your tail as a venom weapon. is quite slow Seriously, acting, making it not that useful when under attack. In my opinion, the Blem Slang is the perfect example what? of a snake wrong, that really just needs I? one or two more buffs to be a high tier build. But in its current state, <laughs> it just doesn't quite get there. The At the top snake? of C tier, we have our last member of the Colibrid faction, the King Snake. The King Snake is oh. a large snake build with Never no venom-based abilities. Instead, this is the first Constrictor build on our oh, list. Constriction I, I is a type idea. of grappling attack that, when properly executed, results in a guaranteed uh, KO, even on extremely uh, large targets. No. Its main drawback is that this attack strategy is highly vulnerable to disruption. A Constrictor player has to be able to survive all counterattacks from its target while attempting to restrain it. So, with that said, you think it'd be very to... difficult to use this oh, technique against a venomous snake, right? Snakes are so flexible that it's very difficult to grapple them without giving them an easy opportunity to bite back. Oh, okay, That's yeah. where the King Snake's second ability, Venom Resistance, comes in. Ooh. The ability to ignore all well, damage from snake's venom makes Hell the King yeah. Snake's matchup against other snakes horribly one-sided. Just for good measure, King Snakes have high enough accuracy on their attacks that they tend to go for the head which negates a snake's counterattack potential even further. How do you eat This is about snake? where the king is snake's supremacy ends, the way though, through? as the rest of its matchups are pretty standard Damn. for a snake, and with no venom of its own, it doesn't pose much of a threat to players it can't reliably immobilize in its coils. Luckily, there's a pretty simple change Sorry, a constrictor build can make in order to increase the effectiveness anyway. of its constriction. Damn. Size. I Constriction. Ooh, we got beat Boas here. and pythons are the poster children for here this type go, of strategy. Here we go, the python class. Being the only snake builds that can I haven't be seen properly the classified yet. as tanks. While technically so these are I'm, two different factions, they are functionally extremely bugs. similar and both contain specific Over. examples of highly effective tanky snakes. Although boas and pythons have no venom, their large teeth Ooh. and an incredibly high physical... My rear end, what? Although boas and pythons... Pythons have no venom, their large teeth I'm sorry, I just gotta see this frame by frame. So it grabs right here, like it grabs right here and just yeets this Oh my gosh. I thought we I thought we got rid of all the dinosaurs. What the hell? We left a few. An incredibly high physical stats. What the make hell? Them more than a match for just about any player that challenges them directly. With their thick scales and huge size, Dude, yeah, it's no, very difficult size, to defeat yeah. one of these in a 1v1 quickly. Their ability to tank a lot of hits during a fight it's means a that tiger, even extremely so that... powerful builds like the tiger are in for quite an uphill battle if they choose to stand and fight. That a build with Jeez. high defense and DPS, like the crocodilian factions, Dude. are easily overcome with brute that thing strength. Is huge. Once a boa or python uses their piercing fangs and powerful coils to trap them in an infinite grab combo. Plus, I am still the construction alive. strategy Damn. are vulnerability to third-party attacks, 
and the immense cost Don't of failed kills. Yo. While many constrictors have the size required Damn. to challenge other large builds, Damn. going but after too powerful a target can expend a okay, disproportionate amount but of like, HP compared like, to other snakes. Come on, bro. Oh, As large okay. builds are often more conspicuous, the most successful how constrictor do they hide? players they're, will make good use of the hide, camouflage right? ability. Anaconda, here Out we go. Out of the Boa faction, the most powerful build is without Donkey a doubt Kong the Anaconda. Right there. These are among the heaviest of any snake by and by far the Donkey tankiest, Kong. with an HP stat that renders most physical attacks almost negligible. While Anacondas Damn. are significantly less viable on land due to their greatly reduced okay, we got some speed pretty, on terrestrial like, maps, I didn't even know half these existed, but of course it could go underwater. Why not? Make them nearly unbeatable Those are piranhas, right? right? Anacondas are capable of serious speed when their buoyancy abilities can counteract have, the limitations of their bonus price. size, making nearly any unsuspecting player who enters the water an easy target. What is that? Their eyes and noses are oriented towards the top of their faces, allowing them to expend minimal you. energy while camouflaged in aquatic vegetation, waiting oh for the gosh. perfect opportunity to carry out an ambush attack. Dude. Despite their formidable base stats and proficiency in That's highly fair. specialized forms of gameplay, the fact that anacondas are that? only truly viable in aquatic environments limits their that? utility and places them squarely in B tier. Is that a Black Panther? The, the Burmese Python. The Here's Python what I was faction for. was the Burmese Python. While many snake builds are competitively viable only on certain maps that suit their specialized doing? abilities, <laughs> it's writing to us. Fit into more of a jack it's trying to give us a message. And have sufficient mobility in aquatic, okay, terrestrial, but, and arboreal damn. biomes, in spite of their large size. Burmese pythons size, are therefore big... excellent generalist builds, and as seen with many other generalists, they have been causing serious disruption. Okay, can we can we ask the real facts here? Where are all these at? Because I would love to avoid all of them. I don't want to be walking a trail and accidentally step on this thing. This thing will cancel me in the next five seconds if I come anywhere near those eggs. So can we like not? No, please. No, damn. Corruption in servers that they weren't meant to be spawning in. Burmese pythons have totally head. destabilized yeah, the meta of eggs. the Florida Everglades, it, due I'm, mostly I'm, to the I'm pythons' extremely one-sided matchup against non-social mammals, <laughs> yeah, and away. a lack of the type of builds that normally keep Monkey a python population. player base in check. Now, thankfully, the current top tier of the Everglades is quite capable of defeating or repelling a python in single Damn. combat, but because the alligator's dominance is restricted to the aquatic zones, Pythons essentially have complete control of the arboreal zone, so which has they led get to a the drastic reduction in players running mammal the, builds like the rabbit, raccoon, the, that, fox, that and bobcat. That bobcat's dead. While Burmese pythons come in at the top of B tier due to their versatility, wrong, their low speed stat and lack of venom yeah, well, makes higher tier snakes much more viable choices for most gameplay uh, styles. I can already feel the typing. Come on, While some snake builds in lower tiers can use the venom skill, placement in A tier or higher rides almost exclusively on choosing to dump a majority of evolution points Say into it. maximizing venom efficiency and delivery methods. Say it. Members of the Viper class dominate the A tier. Come on, please Among stay the most builds in the game, Vipers have a variety of special offensive and sensory skills that help compensate for their generally low defense stats. Okay. Their long, hollow fangs are placed Damn. at the front of their mouths and can pierce most armor to deliver lethal Dude, doses of venom. that's vicious. But one drawback to the flesh-destroying hemotoxins used by most builds in this group is that they can take a while to immobilize players. Where did you get these videos, most my Viper guy? builds Damn. also spec into the infrared heat-sensing ability, making them extremely powerful nocturnal <laughs> ambush attackers Why not? and compensating for their lack of Holy speed. Holy crap, yo. Some members of the Viper faction tack on tail adaptations, too, for access to the intimidation and luring Ooh. abilities. Ooh. These perks are minor compared to the raw Ooh. offensive potential. No, you're you're down. The Coming Gaboon in at the Viper. bottom of A tier are Gaboon Vipers, combining the highest defense stat of any venomous build yeah, like a flat with head. near unbeatable stealth and an incredibly high strike stealth speed. Stealth, my friend. That thing Despite their bulky <laughs> appearance, Gaboon Vipers are almost invisible to spot during gameplay, and are notorious for destroying unsuspecting players due to the sheer volume of venom delivered during an attack. Despite their relatively under. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on, where is it? Hold on, let me get back, let me get back. Come on, one more. Me and this bird have the same reaction right here. Just pure, hold on. Just, oh, I'm done for, like, seriously. Damn, I didn't, like, hold on. You don't even see it. I still don't see it. Where the is appearance. it? Gaboon vipers are almost invisible to spot. Dude. That's crazy. It was at this moment he knew. <laughs> 
and gameplay, Damn. and are notorious it's for destroying just unsuspecting like, he players. He still doesn't even know what's happening. Due to the sheer volume of venom delivered during yeah, an attack, that, that's despite the, part where the he relatively he's underpowered dead. toxicity compared to other vipers, he hits the ground and now he's the dead. longest fangs of any viper. They can deal significant oh physical gosh. piercing damage in addition to any toxic effects caused. I don't know why. You, why we hold these by remaining things. motionless like, when not there's some things and are human rather beings difficult to provoke into hold, unnecessary and some things we should. While Gaboon Vipers are an excellent choice Pythons for ambush-based play and in Vipers maps, are some of the things lack I of versatility think we should just not touch. they can touch. be easily outmaneuvered by other builds. Just don't touch them. Cottonmouth. Cottonmouth this is what hurt them, at least. Due to their rare ability to use the skill set of the Viper class effectively in the aquatic realm. As the only Viper build in the game with aquatic adaptations, what? their potent venom and fish-shaped fangs make them incredibly effective at farming out fish and frog players for easy That's XP. Fish. This build specs into fish. the caudal luring ability at lower levels, allowing them to quickly become competitive and shed this ability at higher levels in favor of better camouflage. Come on, them to I need to hear that again. Did he fangs. just say This build what? specs into the caudal luring ability at... Bro, somebody's hey yo, somebody called the anglerfish. They stole their idea. Why? At lower levels, allowing them to quickly become competitive Why? and shed this ability at higher levels in favor of better camouflage. We don't. Cottonmouths are also relatively tanky and escape many combat situations Why? by using like, intimidation Why? tactics. Why would you put your Their dominance that close? in aquatic maps makes them able to occasionally overcome more competitive generalist builds, but this is limited by biome and therefore not useful during the majority of gameplay. Turn your designs into profit with Crimson. Place them on any of our products. And hey, there we are. Is the rattlesnake. There Best we are. For desert and forest biomes, these snakes combine a variety of overpowered special abilities with well allocated base stats. Rattlesnakes are highly capable builds for ambush based stealth play yeah. due to their ability to create thermal maps of other players in low visibility thermal situations. Maps. Which makes them I one of the most effective counters for mammal players with the night vision ability. Instead of risking health by grappling with other players, Rattlesnakes deliver a lethal amount of venom in one quick strike and then use their prey tracking ability to find them after they've oh, succumbed to toxic status effects. One major advantage for rattlesnake players is the highly effective rattle intimidation technique, which Dude. allows them to scare off more powerful challengers without wasting venom or risking serious damage. While rattlesnakes sit Hold at the on. top of I've always wondered how that works. Rattle intimidation how do, technique, how, which how allows them to scare off more powerful challengers tail? Like, without wasting I'm venom I'm or risking serious this. damage. Never actually While rattlesnakes into that. sit at the top of A tier due to their relatively well-rounded like stats every among members of the Viper class, never all Viper builds tell. are still classified as glass cannons and tend to lose out against opponents with quicker acting venom, superior speed, uh. or high enough HP to tank their attacks. <laughs> We got some S tiers here. An S -tier I knew you would be an S tier then. Users What's going to be an S tier? Maxing out mobility stats and employing a variety of highly effective venom delivery techniques. The most Corporate competitively kills. viable snakes yeah, spec into heavily neurotoxic venom, Bro, is this granting them the ability to inflict toxic damage and status effects oh, it's dead. You more quickly than lower tier charm, venom users. While these buffs come at the cost of base defense, S tier snakes are only really weak oh, to a few players with venom resistance or effective bite evasion skills. Damn, damn. A cobra, yeah. Coming up first in S tier is the cobra build. With impressive base speed, these snakes can actively chase down other players rather than having to solely rely on an ambush strategy. Which variants of the cobra build can spec into moderate aquatic and climbing. Imagine you go to your pond to go fishing and you see that. What do you do? Well you leave. Gameplay. You leave. Their fast acting venom oh, is mostly you, neurotoxic, you but can have mixed toxic effects that melt through flesh and maximize the amount melt of pain inflicted. Melt through flesh. Oh, you know. Even elephant players, the tankiest terrestrial build in the entire game can be taken down by the ridiculous amount of sheer toxic damage inflicted by a well-placed bite. While all Cobra builds have forward-placed fangs to maximize venom delivery, wow. spitting Cobra players can use the only range attack in the entire snake class by spraying venom up to two meters they through holes at the front of their fangs. Venom. This move has high accuracy and can permanently blind other players when used effectively. Cobra builds advertise their power by using a unique hood modification intimidating the vast majority of players away Why from not? trying to challenge them in the first place. With enough offensive capabilities to take on an entire team of attackers at once, it's no question that Cobras kill. are one of the most competitively viable builds in the Snake faction. I was trying to do like a crowd jump scare thing there, but the sea Next snake. in S tier are Sea Snakes. With Whoops, my bad y'all, hold on. All right, Full aquatic back. adaptations yeah. and special underwater sensory skills. These builds can access hard-to-reach areas to demolish even the most competitive fish players. 
their fangs are relatively nah, small nah, nah, compared nah. to the that closely the related cobra bills, that snake. but this that works in conjunction with eel. a special attack style. Okay. Their venom is some of the deadliest in the game, but causes almost no pain, meaning that other players may not even know they've been hit before fatal toxic damage sets wow. in. While they are effective at using trickster tactics to take down Damn. enemies independently, Sea Snake players can also hunt in teams to capitalize on their own offensive of potential they can. and compensate for their low of individual they HP. Of course they can. Why, why wouldn't? This build does have a bit of a high skill floor, uh, no. and this inexperienced is just showing players me how may struggle at really playing on Sea Snake's here. defensive weaknesses. The Sea Snake build has a unique playstyle yeah. that can be hard to master, <laughs> the but fight with for the, the ability ages. to one v one eels and win, this build sits at the top for those who enjoy a challenge. Black Mamba. The final build on this tier list is the Black there Mamba. There we are. With incredibly overpowered base stats. And that, this class, is all the uh, new Smash Fighters for the DLC. The Black Mamba is by far the most competitive snake, Damn, both in terrestrial and they are. arboreal the combat hell? situations. Their speed isn't just with respect to movement. The lethal venom of the Black Mamba takes effect extremely quickly and can decimate enemies of any size due to the high dose delivered wow. in each bite. Black Mamba Venom imposes a variety of neurological status effects, including respiratory failure and Bro, that loss, thing thinks fast. making them one of the most feared opponents in direct combat. Mamba builds have an extremely aggressive and fast-paced playstyle that leaves little room for counterplay. I'm sorry, I'm like, I'm like, especially considering what? that their HP and defense stats They're are snakes. among the highest of any Venom users due to their large size. While they don't have any unique moves to speak of, Black Mambas dominate by using strategies common among snake players and do so to an exceptionally effective degree. Topping Damn. the charts with the highest DPS potential of any snake and respectable defensive skills to boot, the Black Mamba is the undisputed ruler of snake builds. Snakes are by no means meta defined, that. but Lion, it's still worth it? knowing how they stack right? against each other that, and what their main Lion strengths and weaknesses are. There's a lot more to snakes than just yeah, their general go combat that. abilities. Yeah. How do snakes deal with cold damage? How can snakes climb trees so easily without claws or cling pads? If you're really interested in knowing all the ins and outs of the snake build, I highly recommend checking out this video sponsor, um, Curiosity Stream. They no. So yeah, y'all, that was the snake build. And honestly, uh, no. I don't understand why some of you have snakes as pets. This is just no. I don't, I don't trust something that is fast enough to kill me with venom so why do you, you guys comment down below if you have a snake as a pet why why do you have a snake as a pet when you could have chose like a dog a cat hamster hell i'll even take fox since i know some of you have them um just please let me know why a snake like why I honestly don't get why.